Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, and of course it's Wednesday, so it's a new comic book day. I have six books that I picked up this week, one very special issue number one that I was looking forward to for months, and I apologise for tweeting and retweeting about it for the last week or so, but I'm really excited for it and you'll find out about that very soon. Uh, before we get into this week's books, uh, three new subscribers to my channel. Uh, we had Nelson Carvalho, uh, Steve Wayne and After Comics, A-F-T-A. I will be putting a link to his channel in the description bar below. He does kind of I guess you'd call them comic book haul type videos. He shows off a lot of his older books, um, those from, say, the more silver, silver age, bronze age type. They are great books he's got in his collection, which looks to be absolutely huge. I've just started watching his videos, uh, and they're great. So I, if you're not already subscribed to After Comics, please check the link down below and go and check his channel out and give him a sub back. And that's what will happen if you subscribe to my channel in the next seven days before I do another Wednesday comic book video. I will shout out that you subscribe to me and if you do regular uploads to your channel then I'll put a description to your channel, uh, a link down below so people can go and find your channel too. So worth hitting that red subscribe button. Uh, for videos, been a little bit busier. You had an extra one last week. On Friday, I did my comic book haul that I've been teasing you with for a couple of weeks from my local comic book store, Close Encounters, here in Northampton. And they were a nice, good stack of Conan from Dark Horse with some surprise Marvel ones in there too. On Sunday, well, there was my comic book review video, which was uh, kind of Oscar-nominated inspired, and I hope I was professional enough not to give out of the wrong award to the wrong title. I think I did pretty well myself. But this week, we, as I said, we've got six books. Uh, one from Boom Studios, three from Marvel and two from Image. No DC or Vertigo this week. So let's crack on from Boom Studios, the only comic I'm getting from that line. It's The Woods, issue number 30. And last week, sorry, last month and the last issue actually excited me again. It's an up and down journey with The Woods. Um, I almost am on the edge of dropping this book and then something exciting happens and I think at this point I just have to know how James Tinian is going to tie this all up and end it and that's just really one of the problems I have with the woods is that I don't know where this book is going uh, I, I can't see a final post anywhere even though it must be coming soon. I don't know what more that Tinian can reveal about this world that all these kids live on now. But I do enjoy the fact that they're kind of bringing back um, the people back home on Earth and how they are dealing with it and the return to Earth of one of the um, kind of abductees. So... I'm, I'm keeping on going with it. I, I've managed 30 issues. It can't have that much more to go, so I'm sticking with it. Uh, moving on to Marvel, we've got Doctor Strange, issue number 18, and it looks like Fraser Irving's little jaunt on the book is over with just that one issue, which is a shame because it was great. Uh, we're back with Chris Buccello, which I'm happy with. I love his style of art, especially on this book, uh, where we look like we're going deeper and deeper into this new storyline where the, um, the kind of entity called Misery has captured and again abducted Doctor Strange's kind of sidekick. I guess you call him Butler, 
Wong and is turning him against his master so to speak uh, and then we had at the end as you can see from the cover not giving anything away here really but at the end of the last issue we had the appearance of Lady Thor so what has she got to do with all this look forward to reading that um, issue number 12 of Moon Knight this is just issue 3 of a 5 story arc and I believe this is the last story arc of the series before Jeff Lemire and Greg Smallwood and Jordi Belair wrap up their story of Moon Knight I'm sad to see this go this has been a great run but for some reason the this book just never lasts as a proper on, ongoing it it will stop and it'll come back maybe four or five or six months down the line or even if it's a year down the line it does come back you get a new team on there but you just don't seem to get a true ongoing title of Moon Knight which is a shame but Jeff Lemire and Greg Smallwood and Judy Belair wants to tell this story they've given it 15 issues um, and then it will be over. No more Moon Knight. I'll be looking for a new book to put on my, put on my pile. But um, I'm really enjoying this latest storyline. Uh, Mark Spector going after the uh, going after Konshu and having destroyed or put to bed a lot of his um, split personalities that he he takes on. And now it's just him and Moon Knight, apparently. Issue 29 of Jason Aaron's Star Wars. Um, I don't really have a great deal to say about Star Wars, except that I enjoy reading it. Um, I like a good sci-fi, and you don't get much better sci-fi than Star Wars, set between New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. This is uh, some random tales uh, throughout its run. We're currently reading diary extracts. Uh, and we're seeing a story not since told about um, Yoda, I almost forgot his name, uh, one of his adventures against some mysterious living cavernous creature. But I've been enjoying it. It's, it's Star Wars. It is what it is. You know what to expect. It's not like incredibly intense read it's just a fun sci-fi jaunt and i'm happy with that now on to the final two books um, both from image issue number 12 of paper girls uh, brian k vaughan and cliff chang's i'd say 80s inspired book but we've come to the present day and uh it looks like we're going into the future very soon with this book but I have loved this from the beginning. A great comic that is more of a of a character study of these four girls rather than you know all out action all the way. Um, this is very much involved with making these characters not only believable but um, genuinely liked and and how you feel for them. Uh, and you just kind of get immersed in their lives. Just a great book. A little bit weird at times with the whole sci-fi spin on it and the time travelling and uh, it might be dimension hopping for all we know and all these crazy looking creatures that pop up here and there and everywhere. Uh, but I'm really, really enjoying um, Brian K. Vaughan's latest book. So finally on to the issue number one from Image that I've been looking forward to for months. It is of course Jeff Lemire's Royal City. This is a bumper first issue. I believe there's about 50, 56 pages I think I read um, on his Twitter feed the other day. So it's a special extra large issue so it's going to be cost a little bit more. But it's great to have... Uh, an independent comic book that's not only written by Jeff Lemire, but he's also doing all the art as well. We haven't had something like that than, uh, before since probably Sweet Tooth, which I came late to, so I had to buy in trade and read it that way. Um, so 
Jeff Lemire comes out with a new independent number one at Image Comics, I'm going to get in on the ground floor. I said in last week's video, right at the very end, he very kindly sent me a the, the promo pack with the first few um, pages of the book and stickers and um, artist prints signed and postcards and stickers and stuff like that uh, which was very very kind of him to do for me um, so I am very much looking forward to this book and probably will be right on top of my pile to read this week. And that's it for me this week. Uh, let me know what books that you picked up this week. I know there were some other issue number ones, but none of them interested me as much as Jeff Lemire's Royal City. So let me know down below what I missed out on, what you're picking up this week. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel and you don't want to miss out on any more videos, hit the subscribe button. Give my video a big thumbs up to let me know you liked it. Thank you all for your continued support on my videos and I'll see you probably on Sunday. Bye-bye.